So it's raining outside. It's late at night. And classic horror setting. We're going in late at night in a storm by ourselves. Who has a desk with six drawers that are so empty? Yep, so you can throw stuff around. Handy. Oh, good. Lights go out. Yep, ripper. Why would you want to do this as a job? Oh, my God. There's a dead body right there. Oh, there's someone. Oh, God. Why would you want to do this as a job? Wait a minute. I just hear a bell. I just hear a front door bell. What the fucking hell? What, what do you mean? Did you, did you, how do you not react to what just happened? Shit just flew across the room and doors opened and shit. And she's like, well, I better file the report at the front. Where are the other things I need over here? What the f- Whoa. Go fuck yourself. Still no reaction. This is normal. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, everything's fine. Fuck off. Why are you still there? Maybe she's nice. <laughs> no, she does not look friendly at all. She doesn't. She's not even waving. She's got red fucking eyes. Yep. Ripper. Lights are out. Oh, okay. She's gone. She's not fucking here anymore. I need more coffee. I'll be back. Where'd we, where'd we leave off? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. This bitch. I needed, I needed coffee, Acorn. I needed a coffee, okay? Don't judge me. So she just, the lights went out. The, the dead 85-year-old disappeared. The door cracked open a little bit. And then she, we found out she's standing there. This fucking thing's back too. Cool, so, yep. Oh, Jesus. Fucking wow. Yep, cool. So the red-eyed shadow leaves a pentagram on the floor. Fuck me, did you just see? Something's clicking at me. That's a fucking hand. Oh, you mother... Fucker. Why don't you do horror games, Bandia? They're heaps of fun. Does, she's back. Oh, cool. So we'll just go back to work, shall we? What do you say? We'll just, just, yep. Back we go. Scalpel. Forceps. I love how she's just gone through this and we'll, let's just go back to work with the dead bitch that was outside the fucking window. Fucking hell, this fucking shadow keeps coming back. Setting needles. You want me to go talk to her again? Oh, geez. why does she keep doing that? It's fine. Everything's fine. It's a fun game. Tubing goes... In the fucking neck. Yeah, that looks great. Yeah, that's loud. Yeah, that's just a reflex. That just happens. Um, it's it's like a thing with you know, muscle spasm stuff. Yep, yep, read that somewhere. God has left you. I am here. Yeah, hey buddy, yep. Yep. How you doing? Oh, sh go eat a bag of dick. Oh, back to work. Bleach, I wouldn't mind just pouring bleach all over this bitch and fucking lighten her. This is the worst job on the planet. The worst job on the planet. What kind of fucking psychopath have you got to be some to, to do to want to do this as a career? Yep. Yeah, no, we'll just finish it off. There we go. Yep, cool. Everything's fine and normal, you know? Let's go backwards down the creepy hallway where the shadow hangs out. God, she's gonna fucking look at me. Oh Jesus, I knew she was gonna Oh, Jesus Christ. Look, it's no longer mine. I have my prize. 
Oh, yeah? I can't move, by the way. Oh, fucking one last time. Just one last one. There it is. It's com coming spring 2022, Bandio. There you go, guys. Put this on your, uh, put this on your wish lists. More embalming. The story of Rebecca Owens. The history of the mortuary. Banishing demonic entities. And so much more to come in the spring of 2022. However, as a solo developer handling every aspect of the game, certain parts of development can take time. And I want the mortuary assistant to be the absolute best it can be. Quality will decide the final launch date. Keep an eye on updates and support my work through the links below. Whew. Oh, Jesus. What the... Ben... <clears throat> That was the demo. So the unique thing about that is that every single playthrough is different. 